If I tell you now, would you keep on loving me? No, oh, yeah, they, yeah, okay, okay. Actually, 10 years older. Which will help with the designs, with the ideas, how to do better. And farmer, behind you, there's the construction going on. So Visionaries, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. We are going to a food tour, so finally I have a right to bring my camera out and be a tourist in my own city. We are going with a group to the St. Lawrence Market. I'm actually already there. I'm going to show you all the stops we're going to, the food that we try, what I like, what I might not, because you got to keep it real, and some other things that we're going to get into today. I'm so excited to share these moments with you, so let's go.
you'll do one drop of oil per perfume strip. Try to keep the drop as close to the blunt side of the strip as possible. You always label the strip with the name of the oil so you don't get any of what you're smelling. Um, little tip, I know it tends to get tempting sometimes, but try not to smell straight out of the bottle. You're gonna go just really no spice. I'm just gonna do it over here. Okay. Choosing blindly, whatever this is. Good. I think this is vetiver. One drop. Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. This one, I would look for almond. Palo Santo. Um, any allergies here? Notes. The top notes are known as the first impressions of the scent. They're the first thing you smell once you spray a blend, a perfume, or a cologne, and they last between one to two hours. Once the top notes lift, then the middle notes will shine through. The middle notes are known as the heart and the personality of the scent. They're the accords that tie your top with your base together, and they last between three to six hours. And then we get to the base notes, and they're the heavier ones, deeper ones, warmer ones, longer lasting ones as well. The base notes last eight hours plus on the skin, and they're known as the last impressions of the scent. So for example, colognes tend to be just really base heavy. They have a lot of base notes incorporated into the recipes. That's why when you smell a cologne, it's not just deeper, uh, even longer lasting compared to perfumes because perfumes have the tendency to focus a lot more on top notes and middle notes while cologne is really more transitioning for the daytime, something brighter, floral, or even citrusy. Then we always suggest you do your best to incorporate more top notes and middle notes into your final blend. And the opposite, if you want something heavier, more cologne, longer lasting, deeper, warmer, um, which is more for the winter or the, or the fall, then we always suggest you incorporate more base notes in the middle. The oils in front of you are diluted already. They're diluted to be all the perfume, so if they go on your skin, that's fine. But we do ask you to test them directly on the skin, because we want your skin to be the kind of clean canvas for the final result. That's why we ask you to utilize your perfume strips. <laughs> Sweet musk. These are dubs, absolutely not. Super bougie. Teakwood side. Got it all on my fingers. Okay, yes. I have to have smoked tonka. Tonka to me is like exotic vanilla. The orange. Not mine to be too sweet. I'm going for mature and sophisticated. Ooh, that's good. They're not in the same spot. So I found seven already. Wow. Yeah. Oh, ooh, yes, we already decided that one. Cigar. Spicy rose. Amber, that's a classic. Lavender. Ooh, absolutely not. <laughs> that literally smelled like leather. I thought I would really like this one. I'm disappointed. Vetiver. I usually love vetiver. What is this? Annie Malik? Annie Malik. What is that? Sarah, how are we doing over here so far? Oh, it is strong. Yes. It does work really nice at a much lower ratio. So yes. whatever the drop is, maybe rip it in half. Oh. Mm, that is how I love it. Any idea what you're going for so far? Any sense of your palette? Yes, I want something deep. Okay. Masculine, but not masculine, if that makes okay. sense. Like something unisex? Yes. Okay. And these are the ones I like so far, so I don't think okay. it's any indication into my vibe. I would go with the Oud. The Woody Musk smells really nice, and the Smoke Tonka. These three smell really nice. Okay. If you want to give them a try over here. Yeah, because I have them out here. Mm. If you want like a more subtle version of that, once you get to the fresh green from the middle notes, you have to try. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Cannabis? No. So she said these three. Fruit blend. Fresh greens, she said, would lighten it up. Round two. Okay, there's a lot here. Okay, this is a cactus flower. Absolutely. Oh, that's gourmand. Black amber. Yes. A yes, a yes, a yes. That's my favorite so far. Okay, I like this too. What is it? A romantic. Yeah. I'm here for the piano music. I hope it's given copyright free when I'm editing. This is a maybe. 
I was like, I'm not trying to smell like weed. I can just walk on the streets. That's my favorite so far. Yeah. I wish I could see just a little bit. But I do think it smells a little bit like cannabis. No? Okay, like a tiny bit, but I thought it was going to smell like Young Street or something. No, 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 it doesn't smell like it's Because did you notice that since you came back? Yeah. 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 And maybe. Yeah. It's really lovely. I feel like if I came here in the summer, not the fall, I would go with that. But we are going something fall, winter ready. Grown and sexy. Something I make seven bigger. Did you smell fig? No. Yeah. It's yeah. nice, but like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Pink peppercorn. This sounds like it has Alicia's name all over it. How do I know myself so well? I'm in a witty mood. Oh, this is so delicate. Okay, okay, okay. Where's my pen? Like, been in the forest too long, need to come home and take a shower, Woody? Like, no, we're not doing that. No to fig and cannabis. Oh, there's more. There's way too many fragrances for someone who can't see. We're gonna have to do two at a time. Freesia, cherry. <sighs> this is the type of time you're on. I'm gonna be going through these rather quickly. Rose, chocolate, chamomile. I like chamomile as an essential oil for the house, but I don't wanna wear it. What is that one? Ginger and orange. Ooh, isn't that the same combo as the mustard? Yeah. Sea salt. What is a glazed garden? Okay, this top tier stuff is not working for me. Wild Angelica. I feel like I should know what this is. You didn't see that. Okay, so far only like one here. A minute for your nose to recalibrate. You know, nail polish remover. That's what this one is. <laughs> what is this? So I know to never smell it again in my life. Yeah, no. So far, my method is working pretty well. I'm narrowing down. I currently have six, I think about 12 fragrances. 12 notes. Refreshing woods, because I wish you would. It's, it's a maybe for me. Sea salt with wood scents? Yes, 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 yes. We're getting more aligned. This one has a choke hold on me. I don't know what it says, that part. Can you read my writing? Because I know I can. This reminds me of something. Tonka is so good. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> Finally, we're going to do top notes. This should be the easiest. There's only two types of fragrances that ever last, even after I shower. House of Killian and Jo Malone. Lime, grapefruit, citrus blossom, bergamot. Yeah, these are all citrus top notes. Gardenia, floral. Wait, that's everything? All the top notes are citrus. Maybe that's by design. Tropical blend. Magnolia. <laughs> these baths. Sweet Jesus. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Crisp apricot. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> See, this is why you should try things that you don't think you'll like. No, not on my mouth. I like bergamot in my diffuser at home. Yeah. Since this era of my life right now is about new chapters and new beginnings, this fragrance is supposed to help me ease into a new era of my being. That's like a lot of hype for a fragrance. That says lime, right? Yeah. I love I'm asking you like you guys can tell me. It says lime, right? Yep. Ooh, hello. This has to be tropical blend. I don't even have to see to tell you that. Tropical blend? Yeah. I need to do one of those, those um, not game shows, but when you do something blindfolded. <laughs> so we got a few more to go, and then we're going to narrow everything down. It looks like grapefruit, right? It smells like my stepdad's laundry room. <laughs> I know it's so specific. Magnolia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know if that goes with anything else, but. This is the crime scene. And these are all the ones I've got to narrow it down to. Yes for base. Yes for middles. 
Yes, and yes for tops. What the heck did I write? Oh, aromatic. These are the three bases. Mm -hmm. I see sweet musk, palo santo, sandalwood, smoked tonka. Yeah. So those are a lot of your base notes together. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. I yeah. like that. It's like sweet and warm. Yes. It's cozy too. That's what I like about it. I think I like it. It's a nice wood, but it can get like so astringent sometimes. And it can get super heavy. And even though you want between this one, sweet and woody, which they're really sweet. Yeah. Or you can incorporate that brightness with the woody. Okay. Yeah, so we'll dub this one. With the woody musk. That's so nice. Yeah. Mm. Cactus. cactus? But try it. I do like it still. Yes. I love that cactus. I love it too, right? It's so nice. Maybe a hint of that brightness. So what I'm going to do with your ocean is I'm going to cut it in half. Because it works better on smaller amounts because it's such an intense oil. Cashmere? Yeah. I do like that cashmere. Cashmere and Oceana app. Oh wow, that changed it quite a bit. Yeah, I like that. Do you want something spicy maybe? Yeah. The tiniest hint, so I'm gonna rip it as well. It's better. Add some mention, I like it. For you, I would suggest maximum two top notes. Okay. Three options. You have tropical, magnolia, and bergamot. With that, what do you recommend? I feel like your blend is sweet enough with your base thing in the middle. And tropical is pretty sweet. Yes, uh, tropical is very sweet. But if you have a really sweet palette, you can do tropical. Maybe a little bit of tropical. One more drop of cashmere. I just want to add some more warmth. Where is that one? I can't see um, well. I'll get you the cashmere. I'll do the drop. Let me see what else I can do. Drop so. Mm, I have a sweeter, like warmer palette as well. So I like oud a lot. I like musky scents. I have sort of a, like a unisex palette. So for example, I love Tom Ford. Sometimes he abuses the sweetness a little too much. Yes. But I do like him. Also, this new brand. I think it's Arabic. It's called Latafa. I don't know if you've heard of that. They have really, really nice. Okay, yeah, it's nice. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little too sweet. Latafa, where do they sell that? Latafa. It's quite niche. They don't sell it at Sephora. There is a really cool place in Mississauga. It's called Benefits of Beauty. It's like a warehouse. And they sell a lot of like, niche fragrances. Uh -huh. They have that one there. I love that one. Topic. Added more berg. Added more, sorry. More what? More cash? More palo as well. And the palo. The palo santo will add depth. Yes, good. So it's a base note. I think it'll get a bit warmer, but that's really nice. Whoa. This is a horrible combination. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? What is. Ooh. Yeah, super citrusy. Yeah, you made it a thousand times better. Yeah, right? You change a little bit and it changes it completely. That's yeah. the fun thing about perfumes. Write it down. Thank you. Remember that we did um, two of Palo and two of Cashmere Wood. I'll need your help. Writing? Yes, please. Two Palo what? Palo. Can I go through these? Yes, please. Oh, wow. You have so many at the world. <laughs> Holy. Ripped in half or half seas. What is this, a smoked tonka? We're down to zero. And we should start with the base. Can I try? Still going? Yep. Easy then. Yep. Hold on a little bit. It's 2.67. How is that possible? The whole thing? Yep, that's three. So we're trying to get to five, right? 3.6. Okay, now you got to be a little bit more careful. Because <laughs> now it's 4.3. So precise. This is way more intense than candle making. Can I have that one? No. No. No, still do the Do you Do Well, only gonna need 1.6, so it's maybe. maybe. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Yep, keep going. Do you think a tincture and a half? It's 1.25, so now it's only. 0 0.35 left. 1.45 now. This is giving me anxiety. 1.5. 1.53. Yep, stop. Woody Musk. And we're gonna need 3.3, so that's plenty. Sugar happy with this one. Mm -hmm. So about twice as much. Last one, Oud. 1.4, 1.5. Oh, stop. Going to the middle notes. 1.5. 
2.9, so now we're gonna go a little bit slower to 3.3. 3.2, yeah, perfect, 3.3. Give me a wood. And that's five. I only had three notes. <laughs> so that's 2.9. 4.3, so now a little bit slower, I guess. Refreshing wood is the next one here. I think wood is not on here. Okay, then maybe not. Ginger, though, is on here, right? No? No. Aromatic. Pink peppercorn, four drops. You want me to do that one? Yes, please. <laughs> this is your orange, because I remember she said five drops of orange for you. Yeah. <laughs> I tropical blend 1.5, 1.3, 1.4. Yeah, not more than that. And then it's bergamot. It's very little, 0.75 only. You can do it. Yeah, 0 0.73, 0 0.76. Yep. The only one left, I think, is now cactus. 1.6. Ten notes in yours. Right? Eight. Eight notes. Mm -hmm. 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. Creation complete. You're supposed to... Double toilet trouble, fire and boil, cauldron bubble. <laughs> oh. Don't hurt this bogey, yeah? yeah. It smells like wealth. Okay, let it sit for a minute. And then we smell it again. Okay, thank you. No problem. Yeah, it does settle differently on the tan. What's your favorite note? Note? Mm -hmm. mm, I like the ginger. The ginger is one of my favorites. The ginger and the palo santo. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah. a good combo. Most people come back to do something different. Like, so mm -hmm. good. And it's going to develop over time. This smells unreal. Like this smells really, really good as is. But this just adds more dimension. Can you believe just 10 milliliters of three more made that much of a difference? Oh, so intoxicating. This perfume has me acting different already. Instead of saying I'm thirsty, I'm gonna start saying I'm parched. Excuse me. It's not strong though. I should have my own fragrance line. This one. Can I show you guys? I'm back! And originally I was gonna bring my backpack, but then I switched last minute because I wanted to be city chic. So funny, the tour guide called me out. She's like, You're from Toronto, aren't you? I'm like, Yeah. She's like, Because everyone's dressed for all four seasons and clearly figure one. But I wish I wore more. I thought the fleece would save me, but fall one, okay? Literally, fall one, Alicia zero. But I forgot this at home, so I hope the shots that I got in Oris when we're making this were good enough. That was such a fun workshop. Up there with candle making, which I did for my birthday, if you saw that vlog. If not, I'll link it over here. But I love having experiences like this, especially in my own city. I don't know about you guys, but things in Toronto get boring fast. I mean, a lot of people, especially when I'm on TikTok, complain about moving from other places here and how there's not that much to do. And the culture is just about going out to bars and restaurants and clubs. I mean, those all have a place in time, but personally me, let me know if you're the same. I prefer doing. If you've watched any of my travel vlogs, you know I'm the road runner because all I do is go, 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 go. Whether it's Marrakesh, whether it's Madrid, Lisbon, Mexico, Antigua, Jamaican, we are on the go. So it's kind of fun to do that in my own city and have all these experiences today. And of course, most importantly, the people I was spending it with, one of my best friends and his girlfriend. I'm so happy I finally got to meet her. She's super sweet. I smell her perfume and I'm like, oh, it's so good. All of us made perfumes that were so unique to us. Even the tweaking of the feminine version versus the more masculine version of mine. I'm like, mmm, okay, expensive, riche, exotic. That's the vibe I'm going for over here. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I learned some things too on the food tour about Toronto. Tried some food I never tried before because all the years I lived here, I've never tried a Pimo bacon sandwich. Like, I'm Caribbean, okay? So anyway, good experience all around. Happy that my best friend is in town. So that makes this the first year in my whole life that the people closest to me, I all got to see. Cause it's him now. JJ just came and left in August. Then Duena, well, she came here 
labored her last year, but I saw her in May for their long weekend. And then Danielle, I went at the top of this year. So 2024 has had its highs and lows, you know, but overall it's been good. And on that note, I need to prep for the week because it is a Sunday. And then I'm going to also record my two pods. And I should probably cook the salmon that I've been marinating from yesterday, that part. So anyway, I will probably check in with you guys tomorrow night. If I do my Fenty hair review or Tuesday night. But either way, you'll see me and I'll see you when I see you. So hope you enjoy the start of this vlog and there's more to come. I really, wait, before I let you go though, I'm really excited about this new chapter in my life. I feel like even revisiting things in the city and just having new experiences is just setting me up for a new start. Like I feel like I was doing a lot of the same in the past. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, I don't know if you've ever gotten that vibe, but I definitely felt like my life has been not stagnant necessarily, but definitely not where I want it to be. And just something as simple as making a perfume. I know it sounds so silly, but like just putting your energy into something and I don't know. I just feel like I'm entering a new era of my life and I'm really excited about that. So I hope you're wherever you're at, whatever season of your life you're in you feel that energy within to just do your best and be your best. But before I get sentimental, let me put that into my podcast and I'll talk to you guys later. We are in Chinatown. I can take this off. <laughs> no. Absolutely not yet. I thought you looked- Again, Reddit. All the spices. All the spices. Got a lot of beef. Try it. No, I think I'll do the other two on it. What do you recommend? The part where I thought I was recording. Yeah, but I just get their lunch special. What do you recommend? Later today? You think your dish is going to be? Dora the Explorer put her backpack down. They're going to explain everything they got me from Sweden. So I know what I'm doing when I get home. Emailing Sony. Because <laughs> we can't go through what we went through 
two months ago with the other broken camera. These cameras are so good, but you drop them a couple times, which I did not with this one at least, but you drop them a couple times and it's done so. So I need to figure out Yeah, when he says classic though. But when you he says chubby chubby never misses. I mean, I've been here many times. I'm the snapper, so I usually go for the jerk chicken, the oxtail, and the pepper shrimp. Then when the more the more you got, it kind of more the. Sorry, like it looks spicy. Yeah. What's the best vegan place you've been to? I love the Chinese. I like the fresh.